SVR IAS Academy welcomes you to the current affairs online video lectures. Come on India.com is our website. Visit our website to get prelims, mains and current affairs online video lectures for IAS 2016 exam. Today's date is February 15th, 2016. Let's start today's current affairs video lecture. Importance of Aircraft Carriers in the Changing Geopolitical Situation Aircraft Carriers are also called as Floating Islands. Floating Islands Aircraft Carriers are considered as symbol of power at sea. Recently, India has dispatched its largest and most potent warship aircraft carrier that is INS Vikramaditya to Maldives. In this background, you should know some important facts on INS Vikramaditya and what are all the salient features like INS Vikramaditya is an important one and India bought it from Russia and what are all the other important features and how many aircraft carriers India operate at present? India operates two aircraft carriers at present. US has 11 aircraft carriers. 11 Nimitz class nuclear powered carriers. They are also called as super carriers. At present, China operates one nuclear aircraft carrier that is Leo Ning. Leo Ning is the Chinese aircraft carrier name. Russia, UK have one operating aircraft carrier, whereas India and Italy have two operating aircraft carriers. Recently, India inaugurated coastal radar surveillance stations in Sicils and the project is funded and constructed by India in Sicils. India may soon set up coastal radar surveillance stations in Maldives also. In this background, two important topics coming in the news. One is Project Masam, Project Masam and another topic is String of Pills theory, String of Pills. Project Masam is a Maritime diplomacy launched by India to effectively counter the ever expanding Chinese strategic footprint in the Indian Ocean region. In the Indian Ocean region, India is located at the center. Indian Ocean is the only ocean in the world which was named after a particular country's name, that is India. In this background, we advise you to prepare well on string of pills theory and important ports like Hamandora port, Kadar port, Chittagong port and so on. This topic is very important for GS paper 2 foreign policy section. So prepare well on India Maldives relations, string of pills theory, project Mossam for IAS Mains 2016 exam. Next, we will discuss about Section 396 of Companies Act 1956. Section 396 of Companies Act 1956. Why the topic came in the news? FTIL stands for Financial Technologies India Limited. Financial Technologies India Limited. NSEL stands for National Spot Exchange Limited. FTIL owns 99.99% of NSEL. Both FTIL and NSEL are private entities. Simply, NSEL is owned by FTIL. Recently, Ministry of Corporate Affairs ordered 
a merger between FTIL and NSEL under Section 396 of Companies Act 1956. Under this section, central government has the power or central government can order to merge two private entities in public interest. To merge two private entities in public interest. NSEL was involved in a scam which was a Ponzi scheme. We already covered about Ponzi scheme in our paid video lecture service. To get the video on Ponzi scheme, visit our website comeonindia.com. In the NSEL scam, more than 30 13,000 investors were affected and they lost 5,600 crore rupees in this fraud. And under Section 396 of the Companies Act 1956, Ministry of Corporate Affairs ordered the merger of two private entities in the public interest. It is for the first time the central government is forcing such a merger under this section. It was never done before. What is the implications of such merging? The merging will force FTIL to assume all the liabilities of NSEL because FTIL owns 99.99% of the NSEL and it will also make FTIL FTL means Financial Technologies India Limited, which is a private entity and a party to all contracts and agreements entered into by NSEL. Simply, FTL has to pay rupees 5600 crore rupees to investors invested in NSEL scheme that was a Ponzi scheme. To get complete video lecture visit our website comeonindia.com. This topic is important for GS Paper 3 in Economy Section, Companies Act. So prepare well. Now, let's discuss about MyShake app. MyShake app. Think of a situation. If you are able to get earthquake alert, in your smartphone some 30 40 second before the earthquake occurs surely you can run away and the damage for the lives and properties can be minimized if earlier alert is given via smartphone for that purpose university of california researchers have developed an app called as myshake app it is an android app launched by scientists at the University of California. The app can sense an incoming earthquake and warn users 40 seconds in advance. 40 seconds in advance. How it is done? The app uses smartphone's accelerometer to detect the seismic activity in, the, in our region. So because of this app, it will make detection of the earthquake easier and we can send early warning faster. And it is particularly helpful for the earthquake prone countries that have no seismic network. For example, Nepal and Peru have not, not a developed network. Nepal is a more prone to earthquake, but it has almost no seismic network or least infrastructure in relation to the earthquake warning. So if MyShake app is used properly, we can save a lot of lives and damage to the property. So this topic is important for GS Paper 3 and role of science and technology in our day-to-day -day life. So prepare well on MyShake app and also you can quote this as an example for ICT sector and role of technology in our life. In essay also you can quote this as an example. So prepare well. 
Thank you for watching this video lecture and share the video with your friends via Facebook, Twitter and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more video lectures for IAS 2016 examination. To get complete video lectures, visit our website comeonindia.com. Thank you.